Introduction to Toolbox of Adobe InDesign CS6 We have the InDesign CS6 application opened up here and in this tutorial we will be giving you a short introduction about all the tools of the toolbox of Adobe InDesign CS6. This is the toolbox of Adobe InDesign CS6. Selection tool. This is the selection tool. Selection tool lets you select entire objects. It is a black arrow here. You click on that. I can click on an object on the screen. I can move it anywhere. I want this over here. I can move it dragged that way. Direct Selection Tool. Now the next one here is called the Direct Selection Tool. Direct Selection Tool lets you select points on a path or contents within a frame. Now with the Direct Selection Tool you can do a little more fine tuning. So you can actually click on specific points which I like. I have here on this polygon and you can actually manipulate them and make them move in certain areas and adjust the shape there so the direct selection tool allows you to do a little more page tool the next thing you're going to see is page tool page tool lets you create multiple page sizes within a document what this does is if you have this selected after you have gone into your document you can actually click on the page tool here go up to the top and you can actually drag make it smaller and make it bigger now I recommend unless you really know what you are doing I would not mess with that too much because if you are designing for print there are specific standards for print pages so I wouldn't mess with that but if I do have a specific need for adjusting the page width or height or rotation or whatever it may be, you can click on that page tool here. Gap tool. Gap tool lets you adjust the space between objects. The gap tool allows you to go in here and adjust the gap distance between the interview pages. So you need a specific distance between this text and the side of the page. You can click and drag in, take that text to the right or you can take that text to the left depending on what you want to do. And you can do all of this with the gap tool. Content collector tool. The content collector tool collects content and places it into the convent conveyor. Content Placer tool. The Content Placer tool takes content in the conveyor and places it in your layout. Type tool. The type tool is pretty self-explanatory. Type tool lets you create text frames and select text. You can click on that. You can click and hold and drag to make a text box. I am going to go ahead and make our text bigger and you do that just like you would within a word processor once you are in your text box. Editing within your text, you can change that stroke color, you can change the fill color, you can change the size that text by going up here just like you would in a Microsoft Word. Line tool. Line tool lets you draw a line segment. Draw a line vertical or horizontal however you want to do it. To make sure that the line is exactly straight, hold down the shift key and it doesn't matter how shaky you are with the mouse, the line will always be perfectly straight. Pen tool. The next is the pen tool and for those of you who have used Adobe products before, 
you know what this is. This is a tool that allows you to go and draw the exact points and go up and actually curve lines and make some weird funky shapes. And if you're an artist, you know all about graphic design and the pen tool is definitely for you. So pen tool lets you draw straight and curved paths. Pencil tool. The next is the pencil tool. Pencil tool lets you draw a free form path. So you can go in here and draw stuff out just like you would with the normal pencil. So if you want to write letters or draw something out, you can do that with the pencil tool. Rectangle frame tool. Rectangle frame tool lets you create a square or rectangle placeholder. Ellipse frame tool. Ellipse frame tool lets you create a circle or oval placeholder. Polygon Frame Tool Polygon Frame Tool lets you create a multi-sided shape placeholder. Rectangle Tool Rectangle Tool lets you create a square or rectangle. Ellipse Tool Ellipse Tool lets you create a circle or oval. Polygon Tool Polygon tool lets you create multi-sided shape. Scissors tool. Scissors tool cuts paths at specified points. Free transform tool. Free transform tool lets you rotate, scale or shear an object. Rotate tool. Rotate tool lets you rotate object around a fixed point. Scale tool Scale tool lets you resize objects around a fixed point. Shear tool Shear tool lets you skew objects around a fixed point. Gradient swatch tool Gradient swatch tool lets you adjust the beginning and ending points and angle of gradients within objects. Gradient feather tool. Gradient feather tool lets you fade an object into the background. Note tool. Note tool lets you add comments. Eyedropper tool. Eyedropper tool lets you sample color or types attributes from objects and apply them to other objects. Measure tool. Measure tool measures the distance between two points. Hand tool. Hand tool moves the page view within the document window. Zoom tool. Zoom tool increases and decreases the view magnification in the document window. So that was the brief introduction on the tool of Adobe InDesign CS6. Thank you.